guys so this is the finish whoa i'll yeah it's the finish look i just i'm really low on like lipstick colors and lip liners i literally only have like this shade and i don't want to be dark right now on the lips because i'm not really going nowhere but my parents house and uh off brand pinkish that i put like in the center and because i literally like only have i have a maroon burgundy lip color but like i said i don't really want no dark shade right now like i wish i had like some type of like lip liner and some lip gloss and a really really new pink to give a natural like little lip set but like this is like the only combination i've been wearing lately maybe i could try to put this on and then put a lot of this on to give a lip to get a lip liner look out of the dark we can try it really quick it won't hurt if i don't like it i can always take it off but let's see This gives, don't play with me. Don't play with me, B. It's cheap lipstick from Amazon. Don't purchase. okay but i'm bored of this look this is... so this is the look um it's okay but i'm ready for some new shades of lipsticks so uh we're gonna start with the face and then go to the hair okay so i'm not really big on like name of brushes whatever works for you works for you i feel like as long as you study the tool and the skills on how to do makeup like you will be okay you don't have to have your this is my f51 angled brush or my 237 morphe palette brush kit like girl here what shape is it an angled brush okay so um so i always start, start with the eyebrows you know brush it up with a spoolie I then go in with an angled brush and guys I used eyeshadow for my eyebrows because I ran out of um, eyebrow uh, products so honestly I've been using eyeshadow for quite some time now because I have some palettes I don't even be using for real so I mean why would it go to waste you know what I'm saying so i go in and I, as you guys saw with the angle brush i draw i draw the shape of my eyebrow and then i have my favorite concealer la pro girl in the color fawn and i conceal with a flat brush okay amazon cheap brushes um then after the eyebrows conceal don't feel don't let it show you want to close off or close up the uh eyebrows um it takes a steady hand to do that but i mean the more you practice the more you will get it i just feel like this wig is like making my head look big but anyways okay so after the eyebrows i like to what did i do now I put on my uh primer of course this is from amazon um I think I prefer, I prefer something that that minimizes my pores. This was just something I was just trying. Um, so then I put on my foundation and I use Mary Kay right now because my mom sells it. It's free and I love the shade it gives me. It gives me a nice 
dark bronze look and I know we're in the going into fall and winter well we're in fall going into winter but I go in and I use more concealer as you guys saw I use basic makeup I don't use all this expensive makeup I don't have the money for that okay so I'm just I'm only saying this because like look at my makeup it looks really good like if I was to lie to you and say it was MAC or Jeffree Star you would believe it <laughs> So, after the foundation and the concealer, we go in with some Walmart powder, okay? Um, go in some, with some Walmart powder. I also did mix this with some banana. Now, this, she wasn't cheap. Oh, God. Amazon, though. Amazon. Going with this, my contour palette, and do that with a brush I got from Ulta, uh, Ultra, Ulta, Ulta. Oh. I yeah I bronzed the face I contoured the face I go back in with the powder I you know cut that little contour line um I'm not forgot where I got this from but probably CVS Walgreens um sure you can find it on Amazon uh this is my little glow and then the most expensive product that I use MAC setting spray okay and we call it a day and that's it and um yeah, that's it for my makeup. So that is that you don't have to have the most expensive things to look like a million dollars. Okay. Now, onto the hair. So guys, this is the same Arabella wig, red wig, that I did a video on in the past. If you have not seen it, I will leave a description or what do they what do YouTubers be saying? I'll leave it down in the description box below. <laughs> Yes, I will leave the link down below, okay? Um, not the best wig. Would never purchase it again. Um, first of all, what bugs me the absolute most about this wig is that there is... I'm sorry to curse, mother, if you see this, but there is hella gray hairs. Well, I don't even want to call it gray hairs. This was a 613 wig, okay? A blonde wig that I dyed to red, and then I ended up dyeing it black because I just... I wanted a black wig and I don't have the money to buy a black wig, you know what I'm saying? So just dyed it black. Y'all, okay. I have dyed it red. I have dyed it black. There is still a lot of blonde strands in the hair. I have plucked a gazillion of them and there's still a gazillion left. Like it literally now that the hair is black. The little white strands makes the hair look like there's gray strands. So now I feel like I have, I feel like I'm wearing a 60 year old human hair wig because the there are natural like gray strands now. Like, and I don't know if that's just some white plastic they've been put into the wig or what. I don't know what it is, but I really do feel like I'm wearing an old person's like hair because there's just a lot of like little gray strands and white strands in here. The hair shows like crazy, 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 crazy. Okay, and I had to be that dramatic because it shows like crazy. Um, I just don't think like I don't know. These are just like the two only things that really bothered me. Um, it does. I mean, it straightens really well, as you can see. It's moving. It's silky. It's straight. Um. How do I say this? I mean, all hair gets tangled, but this gets tangled. When you wash it and you want to be cute and you want to let it air dry, because this was a body wave. Baby girl, brushing this out, you're going to get so much hair. Hair everywhere. everywhere, everywhere. So this wig, I would not be purchasing, purchasing it again, but for the time being, it will do. Um, until I get some new new some new new so uh, yeah that's pretty much it about this video okay so I'm gonna go to my parents house now pick up my knees do some homework have some family time because I asked my mama if she could cook a girl a good old hot southern meal some smothered pork chops with some rice and some broccoli and I just make up to the store myself and pick up a thing of mac and cheese because I want some mac and cheese so that is it to this video hope you guys enjoyed it and if you have any requests I feel like a Kim now you know Kim Kardashian over here this is a Shani Blaze show and this would 
this what I'm serving you in blood is meal. Okay. So this is it to the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Okay. If you broke, go to work. All right, guys. So I am at my parents' house. Uh, house with my lovely niece. Say hi, Majestice. Say hi. Hi. But anyway, she sees this package on the counter and she keeps pointing at it. I don't want to show you my address, but she keeps pointing at it like, open it, open it. So we're going to open it. This is the Jeffree Star Velvet Trap Lipstick um, line. I got two shades and we are about to, uh oh, there's my dad. <laughs> Daddy, no, he's not. No, you're not. Can you pass me a knife? Here. You, oh, you gonna let? Oh, oh, she don't know how to. <laughs> Get off! <laughs> All right. Oh, I like the packaging, Jeffrey. So this is how it comes. Really cute for literally like two lipsticks. Comes with some paper. Oh my gosh, stunning. I get two of them. So, I ordered the shades Hot Commodity and, can you read that? Nudist Colony. We're gonna try the Hot Commodity. This is like a hot, vibrant pink. I'm trying to do a video, for real. I'm gonna put you on the couch. And, he said Mary Kay's. <laughs> Does it have stars on the lipstick? No, but they would only get in the way when you rub it in. <laughs> That's pretty though. It doesn't really have a scent. It's still a test swab. I wanna cry. Maya, come down. Yeah, it's so vibrant. Don't put that in your mouth. COVID. Oh, this is cute. This is flirty. This is, let's go out to the movies, girls. And order some cocktails. Ma'am? Oh, thank you, Mouthy. Here, here. You want to try? First of all, dry your lips, okay? <laughs> Maya. <laughs> Quit trying to eat it. Yes. Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Jeffrey's gonna love it. <laughs> Huh? Jeffrey? He's the um, owner of the company. Oh, oh, you want to see my picture? He is not finna see this video out of the 80 million followers he has. I wish he would see my picture if I took a picture. Okay, so let's talk about the next shade, girl. This mine. I bought this. Which one I I love you too. My oh, baby. This is the nudist and so this is like a baby pink a nude baby well not really a baby pink it's a nude which is something i ooh, fall off this counter get a busy body probably could use a little lip liner with this one but love the color of it Maybe we don't need a lip liner. Okay, on the floor. Bye bye. Tell the, tell your um. Bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. Tell them bye bye. Say bye bye, cause you're fired. Nudist colony. I love this. Is a natural, and the black hair makes it pop. 
So this is Shinny Blaze approved. Jeffrey, I do approve of your lipstick, okay? I hope you see this out of your 12, 17 million followers. And if you do, just know I rock the new new, okay? I rock your lipsticks, that's the thing about it. I rock it, I rock it. Yes, chill. He went to my with the new body. All right, y'all, I'm out. Mm -hmm.